सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ फाइनेट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस आई एम भाविक सोने जी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लैग्रेंस मेथड फॉर डेरिवेशन ऑफ शेप फंक्शन इन टू डी प्रॉब्लम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so in the previous video we have seen the serendipity method to derive the shape function so let's have some recap of it so to derive the relation between the natural coordinate system and the local coordinate system so here is my local coordinate system and this figure indicates the natural coordinate system so we have taken same points a b and c and we have uh, derived the relation between the local coordinate and the natural coordinate x and psi by putting the values of shape function at different points like point number 1 2 and 3 so this is my final equation which is the relationship between x and psi now instead of doing this we have other method that is lagrange method so in lagrange method the way of getting the relation between these two is different so let's understand first what is lagrange method so in the lagrange method uh, this is the lagrange function which is having the value at different points like point at point number 1 the value of lagrange function is f1 same for corresponding point number 2 it is f2 and as we increase the number of points it becomes larger and up to n we can have now this special polynomial this f1 is a special polynomial function which is given by this value so l1 is nothing but the interpolation relation interpolation function or interpolation relation so by putting the value one by one from starting 1 2 3 we will get different values at uh, different points so that will be the interpolated value of l and uh, this function we have to put here in the polynomial function so f1 f2 f3 are polynomial functions up to fn so these are the polynomial functions so now we want to uh, derive the relation between this polynomial function and the shape function at the different points so now let's start putting the value for uh, one by one we here we have taken shape as we have derived in the serendipity method three points we have taken a b and c which is having local coordinates x1 x2 and x3 and for natural coordinate system we have three values 0 minus 1 and plus 1 plus 1 at b point 0 at mid point which is c point and at a point it is minus 1 so here for n n1 we are taking a psi 1 value so by you can see here by Uh, using this method instead of 
L we are putting N for this system. So for uh, node number one or uh, for uh, point A, we have shape function like this N one. N1 will be psi 2 minus psi, psi 3 minus psi, psi 2 minus psi 1, psi 3 minus psi 2. Same for uh, point number B, we have N2 equation and uh, same for point number C, we have N3. So now by putting all the values, Let's put these values uh, one by one. So psi two is one minus psi. Psi three is zero. So zero minus psi upon psi two is one minus psi one is minus one. Psi three is zero minus minus 1 so ultimately it is 1 minus psi and minus psi here 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 1 0 plus 1 that is 1 so divide by 2 here same for putting the equation in this psi 1 is minus 1 minus psi psi 3 is 0 minus psi psi 1 minus psi 2 that is minus 1 minus 1 psi 3 0 minus 1 so here we will get minus 1 minus psi and minus psi if we if we are taking minus 1 common then it becomes this minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 so that will be again 2 and putting here psi 1 minus psi that is minus 1 i will take it common so 1 plus psi psi 2 minus psi that is 1 minus psi and divided by minus 1 is here common psi 1 minus psi 3 so minus 1 minus 0 that is minus 1 and uh, 1 minus 0 that is 1 so minus minus cancel out so we will have 1 plus psi and 1 minus psi so likewise we have converted the uh, value of shape function in terms of psi at different points so by putting this value in our uh, polynomial function we can have the different function of shapes so now uh, comparing both the methods uh, we are obtaining this relation between the local and natural coordinate system for deriving the element which is having integrate shape and uh, with higher nodes so if we increase the number of nodes here we can generate very integrate element or uh, any curved element so this is uh, used
for uh, generation of the curved element. So as you can see, uh, the number of internal nodes in this method, Lagrange method is higher. So we can achieve higher degree of freedom with compared to serine PDT method. So we can use uh, either of this method to generate the shape function for any curved element. So hope you find it useful. Thank you.